coat too. That's true. I don't know why he's still wearing his coat. It's closed up too. It's cold. He's all puffy. Yeah. But he was wearing just the sweater before, right? He's puffed out on a Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, no, he Ooh. was he was just wearing his hoodie earlier, yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, RJ, he's got a t-shirt on. He doesn't even need the sleeves. He's like, the only the only heat oh, I yeah. need is what I'm bringing to this video game. Yeah, I was about to say, he doesn't need to be warm because he's bringing the heat. Oh, my God. Great minds. Oh, I think alike. Oh, we got the C spin from Baseball Boy. You, you That's know how it. you know we're boomers. Baseball Boy's been playing this game since the early teens. Yeah. That's how you know is because he opens with C-Spin, which is an opener which has not been meta for a long time. But it still works, man. It still works. Okay, it so, still works. So my, uh, like, hot take about this is that people make a big deal about openers, and in a lot of cases, they don't matter that much. Yeah. That's my hot take. Yeah. I get that. Mid game is like way more important than people think. It's because things can go from zero to a hundred so quickly in this game that um, it's pretty easy to win early on if you know what you're doing, or depending on who you're playing against. Um, so, but when you get to such a high level like this, it's like that's when mid game is important. That's when you're able to turn things around. That's when you're able to start planning and doing even crazier stuff. Yeah, and I mean, as long as you don't, like, have an opening that's so bad that, like... RJ, you... what? Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, huh? I guess this is, uh, you know... Maybe this, this will maybe prove my point here. As long as you don't have an opening that's so bad that it, like, completely ruins your access to, you know, your garbage or defenses, whatever, uh, then, you know, typically you can get out of it even if you completely beef it, so... You know a game where openers practically don't matter? Tech. Just That's go for true. Tetrises. That's so true. But also, I mean, clearing, like, garbage efficiency is not even that important in the opening uh, parts of, of tech because clearing more lines gets you zone meter. Yeah. And sending more lines gives your opponent, like, the world's cleanest garbage at the beginning. So, uh... It's interesting. RJ! It's very different meta. What? What's happening? I mean, I would like to point out, though, RJ uh, did pull that last game back from... <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> like, uh, he did. as much you as I thought he there. was about to prove my point, he then went and said, uh-uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm sick. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I think this misdrop will do it this time. Yeah. That was exciting. Oh, boy. <sighs> Why are we listening to like surf music right now? I don't know. Yeah, kind of cool, but where is this coming from? I don't know. Yeah, incomplete uh, imperial cross from baseball boy. Yep. Kind of forcing the break back to back there, which he hates doing. Who needs back to back anyways? Baseball, yeah, okay, yeah. Baseball Boy was really s trying to set up those, uh... Oh my god, I'm losing the name, but... Oh, well. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I thought he was actually going to maybe take the single to prop another double uh, further up, but then he didn't do that, presumably because that would really delay his down stack. Um, and he's he's not looking for that right now. He's, uh, yeah. he's trying to get down. Oh, we got another BBB overhang. Interesting. So there's, yeah, you can do this, and you can use the J and actually pop it right underneath there. Yep. Oh my God, that's so cool. Yep, I love that. Uh, that actually works in like Tetris, the Grandmaster Two, which is oh, okay. extremely funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And gets, he's still lost. That's gets hit on the rubber band. Though. Well, that's. I mean, that's. Kind I of feel like thing. if you could do something that cool, <laughs> you should just win. You get the cool points. Yeah, like that's not fair. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the problem though. Is like, yeah, you can set up stuff like that, and it's sick looking. It like really is sick. Like this overhang here is a little better because you can skim that top line away if you need to. So it's like, but the the like the like curled over overhang. Typically, you're oh the cold clear TSD man. Come on, chill wow. out. Wow, chill out. I'll explain why that one counts as a full TSD in a, just a second. Um, but anyway, uh, the uh, oh, what was I gonna say? I lost track of everything because BBB is too busy being a a guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, anyway, the, so that, the, like, you know, the, the upside down J overhang, I guess, um, typically will leave you in a pretty awkward position as far as residue, uh, which is why people don't do it. Oh, the J spin needed, you need to put that in uh, with the foot down and then uh, turn that bad boy counterclockwise, and that's how that just let we like that. There you go. There yeah. we go. Got it the second time. Um, but anyway, uh, you may notice Baseball Boy did a TSD before that uh, it looked kind of funny. It was like the T-spin triple kick, but uh, cleared t the top and bottom lines only. And you might also know that like there's weird rules around clearing all the lines to get um, you know T-spins instead of minis and things like that. But... If you do a T-spin using the T-spin triple kick, it will always count as a full T-spin, no matter what. Huh. Interesting. Yes. I can clear as you many can clear or as, as many few. lines. You can clear one line with it, even if you fail the rest of the like the you know the three corner like whichever three corners you need to not be a mini. Doesn't matter. Okay. That's dope. Yep. Oh, he wants the triple, but it's not a good idea. Yeah. He's got a bail. He was tempted. He, he, look, I mean, props for the uh, self-control there. Yeah. Oh, this stack by RJ is so clean, though. Wow. It doesn't even matter that he's overstacked. But Baseball Boy did find the right opportunity later on to do that TST. And yeah. it's like, okay, there's always going to be opportunities. He just has to find them and wait for the right time for them to arise. Oh... RJ just absolutely detonating his stack now. DBB in a little bit of trouble here. Doesn't have like a ton of great options with top board. Has enough to play defense for now. He's going to go for the fan. Oh my god. Oh, hilarious. Let's go. Unreal. And he still lost, but oh, he won in our hearts. He did. Also, I mean, that Finn really was. He was attempting to play defense where there was not really any other good way to pull a teeth and double out of that stack. So. Yeah, he actually did a smart idea. Yeah, honestly. You know what? <laughs> and the, the Z to fix the, the overhang was right there. Like, if there's any, you know, like, not meme time to do a, a Finn, that was it. Oh. RJ just... Coming out swinging. All right. Arden really likes uh, Mr. T-Spin's uh, yeah. STD. I mean, it's, it's a good opener. Yeah. I think it also gives you a decent chance of PC, right? Is that, is that, I, I have I, no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Follow-ups. Who needs those? <laughs> and this is why I lost. There you go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, RJ kind of overstacked his hole so that he would complete that TSD on the left, but I think that may actually no! pose a problem for him. He was too quick. That was exciting. He got too excited. He blew his load. <laughs> That's what they say, right? Uh, yeah. Who's they? <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. I wouldn't even have thought of that perfect clear idea, but... Yeah. RJ is indeed a genius. Yeah, unfortunately, I think. Um, yeah, it BBB's, didn't really do much. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> BB blocked half of it, and then like the other half is all clean, right? So yeah. it's uh, and he's just waiting. He wants to wait for this eye so that it can just take the uh, take the Tetris on top perfectly clean. Like, yeah. Wow. You just do it sometimes. Okay. All right, BB bringing this back into uh, you know one game territory. One game. Oh, interesting. Okay, wow. RJ oh. was able to stay committed. No, there's not a thing. RJ was able to stay committed and also, like, you know, adapt for what was happening. Sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, no, I was just... Uh, I thought BBB had sniffed out a, a potential PC, but... Oh! <laughs> That's a little hairy. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve to fix this one and somehow keep back to back going the whole time. Uh, I don't know. Unbelievable. Oh my god, right. baseball boy. It's, what? It's not the it's not what I was expecting, but it's still very clean and he's just looking for the, the Ren down stack now. This is wild. Okay. He wants to he wanted to take a single there with the I think if Jay were coming up next, he would have snapped like singled over there to set up the Tetris, but I see it. All right. 
RJ trying not to overstack now either. He is counting to four. Okay. Okay. Baseball boy's garbage is relatively low. Uh, RJ in the middle of his board. Yep. Yeah. The T was the skin there. If he digs down enough, then it'll be pretty clean. But it's going to be a while before he gets there properly. Yeah, he's got a, a bit of cheese to go through in the meantime. And DVB is pressuring him to some extent here. He's got a little bit of a power stack going too. So like, Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. he's basically giving Baseball Boy just enough time to send a really big attack, as it's we're going to so see coming soon. so clean, though. Yeah. Oh, this is such clean garbage. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, send up the TST. Yep, giving that eyepiece. Oh, he's going to rend game down a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't really care that he's uh, covering the hole. He's not that scared. So good good uh, awareness of what his potential liabilities were uh, coming from the other side of the board. Oh, he's doing it. Yeah, this is a little bit sticky now, though. Yeah, I think RJ knows that, like, if he wants Baseball Boy gone, then, like, he's going to have to step up a little bit. Uh, okay, yeah. Wants to reorder those so that he doesn't get the, uh... Ah, okay, okay. No. No? Baseball Boy? Yeah. yeah. No, just a little bit too slow there, fortunately. My friends, who are we rooting for in the chat? <laughs> I need to know. Because, like, this, this rivalry... It's just not going to end, is it? Wow. Okay. And yeah, not awful garbage coming off that PC, but uh, going back to something I said earlier about the different ways that garbage is calculated in different Tetris games. Uh, in older games, the PC garbage would always come in one line, basically. Um, so in this game, the fact that the hole can change inside of a single attack. Oh, no! Yeah. Sorry, go on. Oh, just that, you know, it means you can take a PC and actually, like, oh, that's actually, like, you know, a little bit annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a free follow-up. <laughs> yeah, everybody thinks that, like, PCs are, like, insane. And it's like, well, in this game specifically, it's like, eh. <laughs> like, if it's clean, then, like, okay, I'll take it. Opting not to combo. Right. Look at the clean TSD over the hole here. BBB didn't want to use that eye to clear the Tetris. He wanted to use it in what was that column five to set up the TSD, but incoming garbage just at the wrong time forced him off it. Yeah, I think Baseball Boy is covering his own uh, garbage, and it's oh. Uh, uh, that's not where he wants to put it, right? I doubt it. I don't think he has the time. Yeah, I think he, he was trying to look for ways to fit enough pieces at the top that he would actually get to see that eyepiece, but I yeah. don't think there was any way. Very limited options that Baseball Boy has in these situations. You have, like, one row, man. This is tough yeah. to work with that. It's like, what? What do I do with this? Okay. Nice double-double. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Very clean uh, stuff here. BBB intentionally not putting that eye down the well. It does have a decent way to prop another one here. I think he's kept back-to-back -back this whole time. Yeah, that's actually kind of insane how well he's able to pay attention to back-to-back. -to -back. He's That's kind of his, his MO. This is what he's about. Yeah. This is raison d'etre. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive my pronunciation. It's his bread and butter, as they say. Uh-oh. All right. That's not four. Yeah. So there you go. That was a full teaspoon single, even though it was, like, you know, really janky, just because it used the teaspoon triple thing. Weird. Oh. 
All right, we're looking for Yoshihiro on the left here? No, we're not. We're just going to stack over it, I think. Is RJ screwed? Oh. Uh, I feel like he is, since he's not sending anything right now. And Baseball Boy is just kind of like on the offensive, which is kind of rare for him. Baseball Boy is often defending himself, but this time he's just like, nah, I'm out for blood. Yeah. RJ, uh, when he gets going, he gets going, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. All right, MKO from Baseball Boy. That's always a good time. Oh, he's got to find another. Yeah, so the way he set that up, uh, he wanted an I to put in column 10. Using the J to set up the T-spin double would have basically routed him into an Imperial Cross that would have taken a long time to actually cash in. So he just decided, I'm taking the single. We'll live to fight another day. We'll live to fight another day. Yeah. My time will come one day. I mean, look, you know, you can do all the flashy stuff in the world, but if you don't know when not to do it, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Or when to do it. Yeah. A lot of wasted T's for Baseball Boy and for RJ, actually. They both wasted a lot of T's in their stack. RJ now covering this well. Yeah. Gonna get down to it, but it took him a long time, so. Both players are pretty cheesed up right now. Yeah. However, RJ is finding opportunities to attack, whereas Baseball Boy is kind of just like formulating, I guess. Is that the best way to say it? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he's looking for here. I think he wanted that Z on the left, but just the line wasn't there, like the full line, so it wouldn't yeah. have actually helped the stack at all. He's thinking about it. My friends, this game is tied. Oh, never mind. It I'm is. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did I... Man's needs new contacts. I completely just misread the <laughs> score. It is so not tied, it's not even close. All right. Get him, RJ. <laughs> RJ is uh, pulling out the sailboat, which I guess is a, uh, it's typically, uh, you know, salted specialty, but right before bracket, uh, RJ did mention that he uh, he's a bit, of, something of a sailboat connoisseur himself. I like that. Hello, fellow, sa fellow sailors. <laughs> I'm not sure what Baseball Boy is waiting for there. I think he maybe wanted to take the garbage all at once to see if he could reduce the number of pull changes. Because uh, he wasn't really in any particular danger. Uh, he didn't need to block, so timing it... He didn't really have a terribly big attack this time, so timing it seems a little funny. RJ was trying to find a way to finagle that uh, SP into there. Once again, both players nearly at the top of their boards, and instead of just down stacking and getting out of there, now they're finding opportunities to attack each other. You gotta do it. They're still doing it. Oh, set up T-spin triple for Baseball Boy into the TSD. That's that beautiful formation you gotta see. When you see that one lone minnow on top of a yeah. hole, just throw a TSD over that thing, the overhang resolves into a TSD. It's so good. It's great. Close set indeed. Oh yeah. Ooh, this PC. Oh, but we got another uh, double triple what? with the or triple double with the Tetris on top. Look at this. That's just a kill shot. RJ was just like, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Nah. Uh, that's so many lines. What is that? That's like a that's guaranteed at least 16 lines if you don't come something back like to that. that. And he had some combo to tack on at the end just for good measure. Yeah. Actually, 17, because since he did it as a combo, uh, then there would have been a two combo on the second TS, or on the TSD. So. You can uh, see it in the bottom right of your screen if you want to know for sure. Um, I see, I see. You're right, you're right. Point is, we don't see you know spikes that big in uh, PPT every day. Yeah. Tetrio, a little bit different, because the things they do things a little different over there, but okay. It ain't clean here. It ain't clean. It ain't clean. Oh, we're gonna see a fin. I knew it. Unbelievable. I looked. I was like, there's no way he's not going for it. Yeah, the way yeah. that he's placing these last couple pieces. Wow. Alright. 
choosing to reorder those to get that down stack, but RJ is still keeping that pressure way up. So we'll see if it actually sticks. Oh, uh, can he do it? No. Ah, he was he was pretty close to though. He he had garbage access at that point, but the eyepiece was too far away. Yeah. So even if there wasn't literally kill shot incoming, it was uh you know it's gonna be a little bit a little bit rough. A wee bit rough. Interesting way to stack into that, RJ, but you know what? You're still in the game and I am not, so I'll trust you. <laughs> Love to see those minis come out. There was, yeah, a time interesting. there was a time when minis didn't exist and they were full T-spins. Really? Yeah, that's Tetris, games? Tetris DS. Oh, okay. So that's why when you see people do like Yoshi Hero and things like that, originally that was a Tetris DS thing because the mini would actually just be a T-spin single. Wow. Yep. Trying to figure out how not to put that T in the stack. Unfortunately, it doesn't get there. RJ has got T's, you know, for days here. Burns one, but probably going to have something to do with the second one. Oh, no, he doesn't want to put that Whoa. J over there. Whoa, hey, oh my god, that's like, that's yeah. like, you know what that reminds you of? That reminds you of like almost swerving into a deer. <laughs> He's just like, oh. Shout outs to Long Island, I guess. Yeah, shout outs to Long Island. Um, oh, wow, all right. Yeah, we, we're tied up at nine. Now we're tied. See, when I said it earlier, I didn't misread it. I, uh, I just accidentally the saw the future. See the future. Love to see that. Yeah, it's just George, yeah. the clairvoyant. <laughs> the clairvoyant. <laughs> But yeah, RJ what nearly... What kind of PC is that? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Go no, I was going to say, RJ <laughs> putting that J in the center board there would have uh, would have prevented him from making any plays on the right side of his board. So yeah. swerving around it was the uh, the correct play. Yeah. Oh, we're going to see this. When you have the like TST with that one hole like, kind of behind it, then yeah, you can set up a second one, typically like two or three columns away, which is... Uh, PvP took advantage of it here. Unfortunately, Manny had to overstack the left part of his board, so it's like a little bit funny. Okay. Oh, Ren Gaming? Okay. Ren Gaming? Ah, uh, what, what? Wow. I mean, it was still really strong, and PvP's bottom board is gross. Baseball Boy knows what's happening. He sees what's coming, and he's not a fan of it. Oh, no. And so wait, he wait. missed drop. Oh. Okay, he fixed it. No, I was going to say, I, I was. if there were T's in the queue there, then he could have done a kaleidoscope to get out of that. But oh, what? Yeah. Okay. So you, you do the T-spin triple kick to kick one T into the bottom. You do a T-spin mini, and then that leaves you with a T-spin triple underneath. That sounds cool. It's very useless. But yeah. If you dr if you miss drop an L like that over a hole that looks like that, you can get away with it. Oh, baseball boy. This overstacking is just not good. I don't uh, think he's gonna have the time to get out. Uh, all right. Yeah. No. That was just straight up RNG. Mm, At that yeah. Point. Okay, he, no, RJ is well, a good player, I mean, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Baseball boy, there were yeah. ways out if he had gotten different a different sequence at the end. There. Oh my god! But but the uh, the L in his next Q, the S and hold, neither of those were good for this. That's like if so there were sad. a T or a Z, would have been okay. But exactly. If he had any other piece, it's like I mean, O wouldn't have helped him either. But like the, his next piece and his held piece, neither were useful. So yeah, he's just gonna eat it. Yeah. All right, well, down yeah, to the wire, 10-9. This is the reason why we don't do first to two, or uh, win by two, because yeah. that set would still be going. Yeah. We got other games to play, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so Baseball Boy will have to uh, come back uh, through losers for the, uh, the salty runback if he would like one. Wow.